Hey, it's Christina from Maine, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add your Pinterest profile and your latest pins to the sidebar of your Blogger blog. Okay, we're going to start here at a website. Let me shrink myself and show you. We're going to start at a website that is um, one of Pinterest websites. It's developers.pinterest.com. So this is what you'll see when you're there. Go up to the top and click on Tools. And this is where we're going to create the widget and then we're just going to copy they're going to give us the code we're going to copy and paste that into our blogger blog so right now it's on the save button and you can create all of these things right here what we're looking for now is the profile widget so click on profile and then here it says pinterest and it is showing pinterest's profile so um, highlight that and then type in your own I can't type and talk at the same time. <laughs> type in your own username after Pinterest.com slash and then put in your username. It will show right down here. See, there's mine. Okay, and it says for size square, you can do a sidebar one, but it's super long and it looks pretty weird. I mean, I wouldn't want to scroll all the way down there. It's kind of annoying. So we're going to create our own size. In here, eight. So this is 800 pixels tall, and and that's what I think is a little bit, a little bit much. So let's let's start with uh, 350 pixels and see how that looks. There we go. I think that's better. Maybe even 300 pixels for me. Of course, use whatever you want. 150 pixels is a little bit too narrow. So that's the width, obviously board width. Let's let's bump that up to 190 pixels. And now you can see the pictures are tiny and they're not taking up the whole space. They're too small to read anyway. So let's go up here to where it says image width and we'll, we'll bump that up to, let's say 90, 90 pixels. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So here we have it. Um, if you're happy with the way the size looks, that's pretty much all you can change, unfortunately, right now. Hopefully they'll add more features and you can change more than that. But if you're happy with the size, um, then all, all we'll need to do is copy and paste this into our Blogger sidebar. So now that we have this set up, though, let's go back to Blogger. In our dashboard, you're going to click on Layout. And in the Layout, there is the Sidebar column. Just click Add a Gadget and then click on HTML JavaScript. We're going to be pasting uh, JavaScript here. So title it, let's title it interesting. Again, with the talking and typing. Okay, content. This is where we're going to paste our code. So let's go back to the developers page. Copy the first one. Oops. Copy the first one. And then we will open up our um, our gadget again. Right click, click paste, then add a couple spaces just so you can keep it separate yourself. Then highlight the second code that it, underneath it says don't forget to include this. We can include it right there where the gadget is. So highlight that, copy it, go back to your widget, and right click and paste it. Click Save, and then we will go and preview. I already had it. Um, I already had one up, as you can see. But let me refresh the page because we've saved it, and there is our new one. So that's that's how easy it is to add your Pinterest profile to your Blogger blog.